Um, because uh, when, but when did you record? The, uh, when did you start with that uh, website? I started a long time ago when the internet was just beginning in the late '90s. At the time, the ARE Association for Research and Enlightenment didn't have a website. And, uh, I set up a page or a website with a listing of their books. And so they were interested and they asked me to work with them. And so for a while, this site was the site through which they were selling their books. Okay. And then after a few years, they decided to do it on their own. Mm -hmm. And so I was left with my site and I decided to do something else with it, which was to uh, eventually, this you know, was a slow process over several years. But eventually I uh, thought uh, I would like to see a place where all the books that are known or that have anything to do about Edgar Cayce in English and in foreign languages could be listed there. And that, that's what it has become because I had returned back to the ARE and I asked them for listings of books in foreign languages, especially in French, because that's my mother tongue. And they were never able to, to give me that. They either they didn't have the personnel to uh, give me that information, or they didn't have the information itself. Uh, their library is uh, quite uh, impressive, but apparently it doesn't have really many foreign language books. So anyway, um, also they don't have on their website listings of uh, f uh, books about Casey that are now out of print or that have been reprinted or have disappeared from the, from the market altogether. So it's really hard to find if you're looking for a specific book that you remember maybe you read when, you know, in your younger years or someone told you about, it's uh, next to impossible to find a place where all these books are located. And that's what the, my site has become. It is the I, I, place. I do use it a lot, so it's, I find it handy to find, you know, the books that I want to read and what I haven't got in my library. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer the host to you, and then we're going to go to that to your website. Okay. And you're going to go over. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. Yep. There we go, okay. That's the one. Okay, good. So, um, well, if you wanna start by the beginning, basically for, if someone stumbles upon the site and doesn't know anything about Edgar Cayce, uh, what they can do is click here on this link, who was Edgar Cayce? And that will take them to a page that explains briefly uh, his history and so forth. Okay. So that's just the introduction. So I'll go back to the homepage. And now um, in the homepage, I explain here that there are basically three ways to access the books. Mm -hmm. So let's say you don't know anything about Edgar Casey, and uh, you uh, are interested in uh, some of the topics. You'd like to know what the topics are. So you click on topics and topics will give you a page where you have each topic with a category here. So for instance, uh, dreams, I'll click on dreams. And that listing is also here. So you can either click on one of those or one on the page here. So if we talk, we choose dreams, that will take you to a page that has all the books that have been published around the KC material on dreams. And uh, you have them all here on this page. This is pretty much the standard format that mm -hmm. you will find on all the pages on this site. You have the title here and you can click on the title or on the cover or on the little flag here for the version in English. And all three will take you to uh, the corresponding Amazon page in case uh, you're interested in purchasing the book. So that's one way to go about it. Then uh, if you don't know, you, 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 you don't recognize the, uh, 
the your covers, mm. the all the titles in alphabetical orders are also uh, listed here at the bottom. And then if you want to go to another category, let's say Egypt, well, the list is here again. All you have to do is jump around and you click on Egypt and that's where it will take you to have all the books in uh, that have to do with Egypt uh, from that have been written from the KC uh, readings. So that's for the topics. Now let's say you remember a book, uh, but you don't remember the title or you heard about it, but you remember the author. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is click on, on author here, and that will take you to a list alphabetical order. So let's say I take, um, well, John Van Auken, who is a very known, very well-known author. So I click here on, on, on V, mm -hmm. and instantly you have the whole list of the John Van Auken books. And as you can see, there's quite a few of them that he has written. So you can probably find the one you're looking for uh, in one of those um, uh, pages. This is a work in progress. So there are lots of things that I want to add, but here, for instance, the little flags after each subtitle mean that you will have the corresponding language. So this is the flag of Spain, for instance, and you can click on it and that will take you directly to the Spanish version of the book uh, that uh, John Van Auken wrote in English. Um, so, so if an author has a translation that's not listed, they can contact you and then you can put their book on. Oh, absolutely. Uh, thank you for, for asking that. If there is any translation that in any language that anybody is aware of that is not on this site, uh, I'd be very grateful if they contact me uh, at the uh, email address at the bottom mm -hmm. and, and let me know. Uh, you know, the address is here, webmaster at edgarcaseybooks.org. And I will, uh, uh, I will answer um, practically uh, right away. Although, since I'm in California, maybe the other part of the world, it will take a little delay, but um, <clears throat> I will answer every, every uh, uh, suggestion. Um, again, I, th I think that's a, a really good opportunity to point out that um, this is a work in progress. It has been a work in progress for many years, and there are new translations showing up all the time. So it's never ending. And I welcome any, any help by you know, pointing out either new uh, translations or, or, or books, even in English, that are not there and should be. And um, <clears throat> also, if there are mistakes or links that are not working, please let me know and I will fix them right away. I, I have a book that you haven't got listed yet. Which one is that? Okay, if you go to Authors, uh, I think La, La Crox. La Crox? Uh, yeah. I think her name is La Crox. Yeah, there, La, Mary La, La Crox. La, La, she wrote La, another Mary. book as well. Oh, that's right. She has written the third one. Yeah, <laughs> the Atlantis I, one. Yes, and I haven't been able to get a copy of that one. That's one of the few. Oh, yeah. Uh, you are right. Uh, I will, I will uh, add that one. Yes, yeah, I have a copy of that one. I thought oh, I'll just check and let you know. Good, good for you. Well, that's a very good example. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So again, you know, uh, if, if we are here, uh, we're looking at Van Auken, but then you want to look at another author, all you have to do is get to this bar and click on, for instance, uh, T. You have all the books by Mark Thurston, who is also a very well-known ARE author. And then you have uh, Kevin Tedeschi, who also, who also has a whole bunch of other books. Again, many of them with foreign translations and so forth. So that's for the authors. Then you have the same me mechanics or same you know, practical approach with titles. If you don't remember the author, you don't remember the topic, but you remember the title, well, you can go here and then you will go, uh, I don't know, let's say E, uh, all the books that start with Edgar Casey. there's a lot of them. And as you can see, quite a few. Um, and many, many of them have translations. So there's a lot of material here. Mm. 
So that's for the titles. Then I added another element, which is called, which I call the series. And that is because either the ARE or other publishers have put together uh, short collections of books specifically um, dealing with, with the, uh, uh, the, the Casey material. Uh, one that I want to highlight is this one, the Edgar Casey Library series. This is a series of 24 hardback volumes, which are completely uh, um, out of print. They're, they have been out of print for a long time. They've been published by the ARE, but you can't find them anymore. But if you go to this page, you can choose any volume. And for instance, let's say uh, the one here about Atlantis, uh, you can click on it and it will take you to the Amazon. Well, this one says that it's not available. So you can go back to the previous page and you can try something else, which is uh, the, um, uh, what is it? Abe Books is another uh, yeah, provider of books. Uh, Abe Books is where I get a lot of my secondhand books about Edgar Cayce. I like right. Yeah. And this one, unfortunately, doesn't have it either. So you have to keep looking for uh, uh, these books. Another feature of this page is that you can look at any of these uh, uh, titles and it will give you, oh, excuse me, wait a minute. No, that's not what I wanted. I mean, you can find it on, on, on Amazon. Uh, okay, that is not so development. No, I wanted to show you, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was clicking on the wrong link. This is, if you want to see the table of contents, Okay. Of, this, of this page, uh, you can find it here. You will, get, you will have the, the complete okay. table of contents of each book. Oh. Uh, a couple of them don't have a table of contents at all, so it's mentioned. But if you want to see what's inside, then here you have the details, and that's you know more uh, another incentive to, to try to get hold of it. I don't know that any of these volumes have been translated into a foreign language. I don't think mm. that's the case. So if we go back to the series, uh, a current version, a smaller version that the ARE has been publishing now is this series of books. And uh, they don't really have much of a, a, a table of content, most of them, mm. but they are basically a shorter, smaller version of the old uh, library series. Okay. Uh, and, and they're, you know, specifically by topics. There's, there's 15 of them so far. I think they keep publishing them. Now, if we go back to the series, there are other series. There's an old series called the ARE Sponsoring Members. These are nice little booklets. Uh, they all have uh, some interesting topics. Um, then there's another one which maybe most people are familiar with because they're in paperbacks and they're still circulating around. Mm. Um, Edgar Casey Guide series, they're, they're good books. And many of these titles actually have been reprinted um, in, in different, at different times under different covers, but the content is the same. Uh, I should mention, I haven't started doing that, but at some point, what I, I really would like to do is for each book to have a separate page that shows the consecutive publishing history. Mm -hmm. So we'll go from the very first version to the current one. And that is to help people figure out uh, whether they have the book already or not. Because since they are republished on a regular basis, quite often with different covers, Mm. Uh, sometimes people buy books and then they realize that they already have that book. So I think that will help people figure out whether uh, they already have the book or not. Yeah, um, good example. Uh, you know, Herbert Puria's book, Sex and uh, Spiritual Path. Yeah, I have a different cover of that one. It's a good uh, book. It's a very good book. Uh, yeah, that one, Sex and... Oh, here, right, right here. Yes, exactly. Well, uh, I have, I have two, two different versions in, in addition to this one. Okay. So, yeah, this is a very good example. You're right. Uh, it, it's, it's a very good book. I agree with you. Um, all right. So if we go back to the series, then, uh, well, there are other collections. There's this one, which is also very popular. 
Uh, it's still very much on the market. Uh, there's quite a few of those books. Mm. And then finally, there is this one, which so far only has four. Uh, mm. It was published in the late 80s or 90s. And that, that was it, this stuff there. So there's, but you know, it's a nice little package if you want those. Uh, okay, so that's for the series. Now, since um, Amazon publishes books in all sorts of formats, I have added a page where whenever I find a version that is an audio book, uh, it's available, it can be uh, uh, clicked. And if you want the book version or the Kindle version, well, it's, it's right here under each title. And again, if you want, a, a, for instance, a Spanish version of the Akashic Records, uh, there it is. Uh, in Spanish, and you can also get the audiobook or the Kindle version. Uh, oh, so I just uh, forgot to ask the questions when you're going through the books. How do you decide that a book can go on? Like, what's your... Uh, is it if it has to be all about Edgar Casey or ARE? Uh, or... <clears throat> I, I think I mentioned this somewhere in the uh, homepage. Uh, I have essentially three criteria. Okay. One is uh, it's been published by the ARE Press. Yep. Uh, second, uh, it's been published, maybe not by ARE Press, but by an author which has published books with ARE Press. Okay. Or it has to do with Edgar Cayce, uh, even if it's not been published by uh, uh, ARE Press or any other press for that matter, uh, but it deals with Casey. So it's not necessarily quote unquote approved by the ARE. Uh, it's, I, I wanted to have as wide a net as possible. Yeah, because I, I found a revelation book that was, it belongs to theosophy, but it does quote a lot of the um, commentary in the revelation commentary book. So would that qualify? Probably, yeah. No, send me, send me the uh, the link and definitely. Uh, again, <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not very strict. I mean, there there are there are some books that are really of very little value, to be honest. Uh, but uh, you know, I I see myself as a librarian of some sort. Yeah. The librarian is not there to judge the quality of, of or the content of the books. It's just there to put the books on the shelves. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, and that, I, I do. I found some books also that I sort of, uh, when I look, I read and I go, oh, no, people should stay away from this book. Like, um, it's not, uh, I don't find it useful. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, but that's, that's where, you know, Amazon commentaries are for. Okay. Uh, that's probably the best way to, 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 it's everybody's responsibility to choose what they choose. I don't want to be, their guide because that okay. would be too partial. Yep. Okay. Sorry. So you can carry on <laughs> all your books. Yeah. So uh, same thing for Kindle. I started putting all the books that have a Kindle version. Yep. So there's still a lot that need to be added here because of course there's quite a few. Um, then DVDs. At one point, DV, uh, the ARE had a whole whole collection of DVDs that they were selling. Mm -hmm. And as you can see by the date, it's been some time and they don't do it anymore. So all of these DVDs are on the secondhand market. Um, and some of them you can't find anywhere except on, uh, um, what is it, eBay. That's, that's what- uh, But you gotta understand why the DVD stopped because internet took over. Probably, yeah. probably, <laughs> but- Again, you know, as archival material, as an yeah. archivist, uh, I, I see that as, as relevant material. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's actually more of those than, than here, but this is everything I've been able to find so far. The same thing for uh, CDs. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's, there's quite a few, uh, there's more than that, but this is what I've been able to locate so far. Um, CDs. There, also, I don't know if you remember that when we used cassettes, <laughs> we yeah, used cassette tapes. 
Yeah, yeah I, I have to go and play a, a buy a cassette player. It costs about fifty dollars for cassette players, so I didn't miss them. Yeah. I, I think it's still worth it because yeah. there's good material on cassettes and that have not been transferred in other modes uh, or saved in MP3 files. But anyway, all of these were in cassettes. And finally, uh, I have, whenever I find a book that is uh, that's been declared a free PDF, <clears throat> excuse me, like this collection by Dr. David Macmillan, he published these books by, uh, with the ARE years ago but he has retained the rights and he has made them uh, available for the public for free, mm. and which is really commendable of him, very generous. So uh, these can be downloaded. And if I find more like that, I will add them. And finally, there are two more uh, medium. Uh, one is of course podcast. There's a really good collection of podcasts by this uh, um, mm. uh, collection called Reflections. Uh, if I find other podcasts, I will add them here. And then, of course, YouTube. YouTube has so many good things. Uh, Reflections is here also on YouTube. ARE Inside Connection, Conscious Community, ARE Author Interviews, Conversation with, it's a group in Los Angeles. Here, uh, again, the, Dr. Macmillan's has done an amazing series of um, history Mm. Um, uh, based uh, of, of, excuse me, of YouTube videos, uh, historical videos based on the Casey material, which are mm. fascinating. If it, anybody is interested in history, I highly recommend that. I think I've and seen nearly all of it, nearly all of the... Uh, good good for you. I, yeah, I don't know. If any, <laughs> it, it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, here you have another channel and... Uh, and of course, I will add your own channel. Uh, right? Yeah, let's see the paper. Arizona one. I've watched nearly all of it as well, the Arizona. It's quite a good one. But I think at the moment, uh, their latest videos has some audio problem. And I've, they've tried to fix it, but they don't know why. You try watching some of them, the latest one. It's just the audio. This I don't know the, what the issue is, but it's so you can't watch it because it just doesn't. There's no audio. Did, did you write to them? Uh, people have been writing comments, but they, they, don't, they don't even know what, what the issue is or how to fix oh, it. Boy. Yeah, oh, boy. Yeah, it's a problem. Well, you know, may, maybe, maybe the problem was in the taping to start with. Well, and in that case, be, that's yeah. re really hard to fix. Yeah. I, I have that problem with some tapes that I'm converting from um, cassette to MP3s. And if the cassette, the original is bad, there's very little you yeah. can do. Okay, and then there's another thing from the ARE, which is uh, Heal Thyself with Dr. Oh, yeah. Monte, uh, which has a, lot, has a lot of nice little uh, mm. uh, short videos on different aspects of health. So then, if we go back here, uh, you may wonder what, what all these flags mean. And what that means is that all the books that I've been able to find that are in a foreign language, I've put on a separate page. So if you want, for instance, if you take uh, you're interested to know what books exist in French, where you click on the French flag. And by the way, if you don't know what these flags are, uh, represent, all you need to do is go here at the bottom and it will tell you what flag it is. So if you're looking for the French one, here we go. You click on that and it takes you to the page in French with all the books in French. And again, each one of them has the different versions under each title. And, you know, if you're interested, you can uh, order it on Amazon France version of, of that book, uh, Edgar Cayce. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Ma vie de prophète. Mm -hmm. The same goes for all the other languages. So, you know, it, it goes for, you can have Korean, you can have uh, uh, Greek, you can have uh, Hebrew, uh, you can have, uh, oh, Japanese. Uh, I have to show you the Japanese one. It's, it's, yeah, I have, um, I've spoken to um, the president of the Japanese ARE. I forgot his name again, oh, I'm sorry, but it's quite good. Uh, he translated a lot of the books as well in Japanese. I think he has, and, and I, I, I have to add uh, actually quite a few, but 
look at this, it's just amazing already, yeah. the collection of number of books that have been translated yeah. into. Amazing. And man, many of them, as you can see, these go back to the 80s and 90s. Mm. So there's been a constant flow in Japanese. And uh, the same, there are even books in uh, Chinese. And here I have, this is the flag of Taiwan, not of uh, uh, the popular the People's Republic, because uh, you can't find these books in uh, Beijing. Uh, okay. there, there's a different, a different uh, uh, there, is, there is someone in China, but uh, you can't access these books because they were published in Taiwan. So, uh, you know, when I get more information, maybe I'll put a second Chinese one, but for now, this okay. is the one. Uh, and then you have, you know, uh, there's even one book in Vietnamese, which I thought was really cool. And uh, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, here in, in Sinhala, the language of Sri Lanka. Okay. <laughs> which, which is um, really, yeah, really nice also. I see, um, to my mind, um, all these authors that translate these books they, ha they must have a lot of knowledge because to, in order to translate, you got to have understanding and the knowledge of it. So they'll be interesting people to talk to because they also can speak English because they have to know English to translate. So they'll yes. be interesting uh, talk, you know, discussion. <laughs> yes, but I will, tell, I, will tell, I will tell you a dirty secret. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Translators, yeah. translators, if you don't check, take liberties with the original. Uh, I found that in, in several French translations okay. of, of Casey books where they just, they just completely eliminated entire uh, paragraphs or chapters <laughs> sometimes. Okay. They, they really, and the ARE has never been interested in having a quality control service of yeah. some sort. So, <laughs> They, they don't really care what happens. It's mm -hmm. good that the material is there, but you have no guarantee that uh, it's, it's, it's like the original. So, so the that's, a, that's a disclaimer. <laughs> yes. yeah. So anybody who really wants to be sure, mm -hmm. uh, A, has to be very fluent in English, and B, needs to do a comparison page by page mm -hmm. uh, between whatever the language, the foreign language is and the original English to ascertain whether it's actually faithful to the original. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a good disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty much uh, the, the quick and dirty presentation of the site. Uh, and there's a couple that you haven't uh, at the bottom. You had a few more. If you go right down. Yeah, no, no, up. Uh, that, what's that uh, products? Oh. oh, oh, yeah. No, no, actually, thank you very much for pointing that out. I keep forgetting about it. Um, at the same time that I started this book uh, site, I, I created another one, which is, has to do with all the products that Edgar Casey recommended for all sorts of ailments. Mm. So this is what it looks like. And it, it needs a lot of work. I have to okay. tell you, I need to do a lot of work. But basically, the thing that I think is the most important to know about this site is that it's the only place where you will find a listing of uh, the case, what is called the Casey formulas and the Casey products, which mm. are two different things. Yeah, one of, of my, one of my, uh, the group members in my study group wants a radioactive appliance that she asked, yes. but I didn't know. So I, I, maybe I could recommend this. Um, that radioactive uh, appliance. Here, vibrational therapies. Here is the uh, Radiac, <clears throat> mm. which is a different product. And actually, I need to add that to, to mm. my page. You're absolutely correct. Mm. So um, here, here's what, let me see. I want to go back to this page because uh, when you look at the formulas and the mm. products, it's really hard to figure out, you know, you read one of the books and you go, oh, Casey recommends this product. Keeping in mind, another caveat, keeping in mind that every product that Casey recommended for an individual was specifically for that individual. Yeah. So 
it's not really a good idea to generalize and see mm. and say, well, this applies to me. Uh, you have to be a little careful about that. Uh, not that they're dangerous in any way, but you know, it, they were really done for each person. So anyway, what you do is you go to formulas. And here, are, here is the entire list of the formulas that Casey recommended. He explained how to make these products. That's what a formula is. Mm -hmm. And you, as you can see, there's not very many. It's just a small list. But since the ARE signed a contract with the company called Bar Products, mm -hmm. and they gave them the exclusive rights to manufacture and market all the KC products. Mm -hmm. uh, since then, this company has decided to rename all of these products, each one of them. They give them their own name. Mm -hmm. So if you look for camphoderm, which is what you will find in in a, um, a Casey reading or Casoda, mm -hmm. well, you click on that and it will take you to the bar site with the product, which is called now Castor Cream. Okay. So it's important to be, uh, to be clear as to, you know, Formula 208, for instance. Mm. Well, now it's called Herbal Tonic, tonic 208. But it's the same thing. You just have mm -hmm. to know. So I think this, this page, for that reason, is something that people should bookmark and, and keep looking for. Um, yeah, I, I ordered the uh, Glyco Thymolin, is it? Glyco? So from Bar, so I got a glycothamoline. Yes. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. I so ordered glyco... one from um, Bar, and it, it arrived, and it was good. I liked it. Uh, I think it's here, a mouthwash. Here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is. Okay, glycothamoline. Yes. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, you will find it here. You see the second page. This is the page for formulas. Oh. Now we go to KC products. Oh, These are the products that he recommended. Yeah. So if you go to uh, glycothymoline. Here it is. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, that's that. that that's it. That's yeah. glycothymoline. Yeah. He also has another name for this one, but uh, you can basically get get the original glycothymoline yeah. here. Yes. Um, so these are all the products that Casey recommended, which were already on the market. These are not mm. things that were made. Okay. Uh, again, I see. again, you have new names here. I. I I have more that I need to add here of, uh, of the new names that are. I think, see that Alka Fime sounds similar to Glyco. Yeah, actually, that's, that's the new one uh, yeah. that he has done. Oh, yes. Yeah, Alka okay, Care. It's, it's exactly the same thing, but with a okay. different name. Yes. Exactly. So, well, if anything, you're, you're, you're reminding me that I have to add a lot of work here. But anyway, uh, if you go back here, then what you can do is find the complete index. So here you have all the formulas in blue, the, for, the products in green, and the products, the names uh, given by uh, Barr. Uh, and mm -hmm. then there are other products which are neither KC recommended, uh, but are sold by, by uh, Barr. Mm -hmm. uh, Again, a lot of work that needs to be added here. And here's something interesting, uh, remedy references. Um, that's that's some, somewhat of a help. Let's say mm. you have a problem with beauty, complexion, or bloating, or, well, no, let's get a better example. Uh, circulating, uh, circulatory system help, uh, then you can, you can, uh, you know, choose a detense herbal tonic, atomidine, or mm -hmm. formula 545, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, and that takes you to the wrong page, so I need to fix that link. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Um, uh, uh, one of the, the uh, remedies that I use, like, uh, especially babies, you know, when they have rash? Yes. Uh, and their backside and the bottom, I use uh, castor oil and zinc works all the time because they start well, crying when they, when they pee and then uh, putting on the castor oil and zinc is so, so good for babies. 
Yeah, I think every uh, pharmacy sells the castor oil and zinc. Uh, in, in right. a, it's a white cream. You just rub it on and it helps babies. So that must be the one with zinc. I don't know that uh, if Bar sells that. Uh, no, I think the pharmacies, you just, it's always. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just, yeah, yeah. The pharmacy does. Okay. Yeah. Um, and finally, uh, here, you were asking about the radioactive appliances. Mm. So here, here you have uh, the radioactive kit, or what he calls the Radiac. And then here you have the wet cell battery, which is a different product as we established. Then there's also the violet ray bulb applicator that was recommended by KC and that is available as well. But this so, bit, this, uh, someone gave a warning as well that um, some of them are not as good as the original. I'm not sure. It's been, it's, there's been raging controversy yeah, that's, uh, yeah. uh, over this. Because, Just a warning. Yeah, you're right. Some people say that uh, uh, they didn't do it right according mm. to the, the KC's, uh, you know, directions. Some other people say, well, it was built with some material that is not of the highest quality and so forth. Mm. I, I don't, I, I can't answer that. Yeah. I don't have, so, uh, just a warning, that's all, because that's a lot of money to spend. Then. Yes, it is. It yeah. is. I think it works well for some people and not for, for others, yeah. like everything else. So finally, if you want to go straight to uh, Bar, uh, the site, but of course there are lots, lots of links to that effect. Um, and this, uh, I'm going to eliminate that. That has nothing to do here. Nope. So that's basically it with the with the uh, um, with the Edgar Casey uh, health. What's that? Hold on. What's the health books based on Edgar Casey readings? Yeah, the, see that health books based on the Edgar Casey readings, uh, the third one. Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, this is basically. Thank you. Good, good, good catch. <laughs> this is basically a duplication of okay. uh, the page on health that you find on the Casey book site. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 all, it's the same thing as, uh, let me show you. It's the same thing as this, topics. Okay. And uh, okay. Uh, health okay. and healing. Yeah, well, I see. I that one's a little add, bit more than. Yeah, I think, I, I see I need to add a few, a few mm. more that I didn't add there. So anyway, um, so, yeah, good, good catch. Uh, well, well, that's about it. I, I don't know that I have any more to well, add. Well, I'll tell you what, I've learned a lot. I learned actually a lot. But like your presentation has taught me a lot about this. Good. Yeah. So, Glad to hear that. Yeah, actually I learned a lot. So it's good because if I went in and saw it and browsed it, I wouldn't sort of understand what I'm doing. But, but, but by well, you pres um, explaining a lot of things. I, I tried to make it as logical as possible, mm. but it's always a challenge when you have that much, that, that large an amount of information. Yeah. Um, so, so, so much information to put together in a somewhat logical order, mm. supposed to be intuitive, but I think it helps when, when you have directions. The, in those days, uh, 20 years ago, uh, the internet was not as, as much of a far reaching tool as it is today. So that's what has allowed me to do a lot of detective work, looking all mm. over the place, finding translations of books that are not listed anywhere else, and putting everything together. Because mm. the other thing you did mention in the beginning is that you only get a little tiny bit of sense out of each book sold or something. Like you're not rich from this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, so it's sort of like... Uh, service, what do you call, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, 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 well, first of all, it's a labor of love. Yeah, that's because, a, yeah labor I'm, of love, that's the I'm, I'm a, I, I, to, to this day, you know, I've been an ARE member for 40 years, and I remain a big fan of Edgar Casey and his material. That's really the first thing. Second, because of my international background, I've always felt that it was important to reach out to the outside world, the non-English speaking world. And uh, I am actually flabbergasted to have discovered that there are so many books in so many mm -hmm. languages. I have only listed 24 languages so far. 
and there are more that I will add. So it's, a, it's really a big reach out, uh, outreach tool, if you want. And I think that, uh, I, I'm hoping that more people will, will find uh, help and solace in many of the books because there's a lot yeah. of very good material that, in many respects. That, that shows that uh, Edgar Casey sort of has a universal appeal Absolutely. and you know, it's going out universal, you know, internationally to everyone. Absolutely. And, 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 and so to, to get back to the point that you were making, whether I'm getting rich out of this or, uh, or not, I can guarantee you that I am not. Uh, it, it, no, I, every, I book, every book that is sold brings me five cents maybe yeah. uh, on a lucky day. And there are very few of them. And Amazon so, takes the rest. Uh, yeah, Amazon people. takes everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but, you know, the, the linkage is very convenient and that's why mm -hmm. I'm using that because that's it makes uh, uh, all the books that, have, that are accessible through Amazon in all the languages that they work in, which is pretty extensive. Uh, I will put an Amazon link, but there are languages that Amazon doesn't, doesn't sell. They don't have those books. They mm -hmm. don't offer them. So for those books, I find either the publisher or a uh, distributor in the country concern. For instance, if I, I believe if I use uh, uh, Turkey, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's one book in Turkey here. And if you click on that, I don't think it was Amazon. I think it was another, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a local Turkish distributor. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that goes for a number of languages. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't get, anything from those because there's no uh, linkage mm. to my account. It's just to make it convenient uh, for the, for the um, publishers. Mm. I, I mean, excuse me, for, the, for the, the people who want the book in that language, mm. they can access it directly uh, online and order if they want to. Um, another page which is very much like this is uh, the books in Greek. Mm. There's a whole bunch of them. And, and that's books that you can't get through Amazon. Mm -hmm. So uh, you get them through a Greek distributor, a, a Greek website, mm -hmm. and people can order them directly there. Okay. Voila. Very, very good. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for giving me, giving me the opportunity to present uh, this site. Uh, I haven't had a chance to do that so far, so. I'm very grateful to you, uh, Keith, for allowing oh, me no to do worries. this. Uh, hopefully other people uh, will benefit from it. That's the main goal, I guess. Yes, and I'm looking forward to any question that anybody uh, mm. has or suggestions or corrections. Uh, let's make it uh, more interactive mm. than just uh, an isolated little site somewhere. Good, very good. Okay. So I learned a lot from uh, this presentation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.